y'all, it's your girl for today, your girl next door, so let me make sure I'm my neighbors. Hi neighbors, how y'all doing today? I am finally, finally, finally here with my first Q&A video, yay! I'm so excited to be doing this video. I was a little scared, okay, apprehensive at first because I didn't want to come on here asking you guys to give me things or anything like that you know i i wanted it to be everyone's own free will but i was just really debating about doing a q a at such a small number of subscribers because i did not know if anybody was curious to know anything about me and i i don't like when people will like two subscribers be like let's do a q a like q a can we get to know you first on our own then we know what the stuff to kind of ask you like you want us to ask you what kind of dog you have and you don't even have a dog like really so I wanted to come correct with this video and I'm so excited to be doing it I went through my comments and I screenshotted all of the questions I hope I didn't miss any of them if I did I will do it on my second Q&A okay we're gonna just jump right in of course I'm not gonna read the question because I don't want to take up too much of you guys this time but I am gonna tell you guys who the question is from and I'm going to answer it, and the question will be over here, so that's why I'm kind of off to the side a little bit. All right. First question comes from Kids Money Marriage. Hey, girl. Hey, boo. Thank you for asking me a question. I'm so excited to answer it. And you asked me a lot of questions, too, so I'm so excited to answer them. Um, the true answer is no, I would not get married again. I don't, and I will say I don't think I will get married again. I don't want to be separated or divorced or anything like that now. So if that were to ever happen, I don't think I could like really go through that again. Like I'm not saying that if you were to divorce and you know, you find someone else you fall in love with and he asked me to marry him. And I'm just going to be like, uh -uh, I can't go do the divorce again. You don't go into marriage looking to have a divorce. You go into marriage expecting it to be forever. So if for some ungodly reason my marriage does not work out, I don't think it will be some, some like in my future to remarry again. So the answer is no. But you never know what God has in store because let me tell you, honey. If some rich prince from Africa want to come and sweep me off my feet, I might just be inclined to be a princess, okay? <laughs> okay, her second question. Yes, I feel like I have a, a lot of support from other people with sickle cell. The reason why I say that is because prior to me getting on YouTube, prior to me getting on Facebook and discovering that there are sickle cell groups you can be in, I didn't know anyone else with sickle cell besides my best friend who I always talk about who unfortunately passed away so besides her I didn't know anyone else with this particular disease so after getting put my face out there on YouTube and Facebook the support is real just like any other group it can get a little touchy-feely when it comes down to particular opinions but opinions are like assholes everyone's gonna have one but nevertheless if I were to go on Facebook which I just did recently and post a picture of my test results I took a blood test to find out once and for all which sickle cell I have and you guys I don't even have SC I don't even think I've said this on this channel if you follow me on Facebook it's been an ongoing thing this past couple of weeks because I actually have three different strains of sickle cell and one of them is not SC, which I was told I had all my life. So it, it with with going on the Facebook sickle cell groups, which there's a ton, you get to interact with other people who may have gone through the same thing that I've went through or have know somebody who knows somebody who's been through the same thing. So I do feel like I have their support as far as communication online. Um, as far as personal support, who I can call about my sickle cell, who I can, you know, send a text message to that I'm not feeling well. I do feel like I have support from, um, I would say, three people out right off the top of my head right now who I could text right now who I met on YouTube that I could call and say, girl, I don't feel well, you know, blah, 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 and they would be ready to listen to me because they deal with the same disease. So, 
therapy. I have the support now. Before then, no, I didn't have the support. The brand I want to promote on YouTube is Positively Healthy. And I've even Googled um, a way to trademark that slogan. However, I... I don't know if it's free like I don't know if the slogan is open and free for me to buy and purchasing um, you know a trademark is pretty expensive if you don't have the money to just go out there and do it so but my brand is definitely positively healthy as I grow on YouTube I want everyone to come to this channel to know they're gonna get something positive a positive message for me I want people to know that you know if they're having a bad day, they can come to my channel and I can pump y'all up and everything. Like, as I grow, I want to be known as the person, what's that girl's name? Chanel Cooper Sykes. And I'll post her picture here as well so you can see. Um, I'm not really sure how she started off. Her whole backstory is online and everything. But she was once just a, I guess, small town chick. And she, I guess, started taking life coaching classes. And ever since then, I used to see her all over the internet just building us up, building us sisters up. It don't make no difference whether you're white or black or man or woman. She, like, really puts her heart and soul into her brand as far as being positive and telling you a positive way to live your life. That's the kind of brand I would want to have. Um, I know some people get on YouTube to brand their sales for doing makeup, hair, different things like that. But I want to bring positivity because you don't have much of that. You have people that do other things who kind of give you positive quotes. But like, I'm not here to preach to anybody. I'm not here to recite anything I've read from a certain book. I'm just showing you guys my life from my perspective and how I live it day to day. And being positive is one of those things that I try to do. And I want to inspire other people to do the same thing. So if anything, I could my brand is just being positively healthy and I'm gonna try to pick up that trademark if I if I can or when it becomes available and when I have the money to do so but I really thank you for asking those questions the next question is from Nirvana 30 and I live in North Carolina thanks girl for asking that question the next question is from Kita's life hey girl one of the biggest blessings I could say is networking with other youtubers that have sickle cell and meeting other YouTubers who don't mind sharing information with you about YouTube and how the process goes from like the beginning, filming, what to film on, how to film, and then all the way to editing to uploading to YouTube. Like that's one of the biggest blessings I've gotten from YouTube because I know it may seem like I'm just really outgoing person in real life. I just I don't know. I don't hang out with many people. I hang out with a small collective group of friends. So me meeting people and networking with people here on YouTube and getting opportunities from YouTube or different sponsors has been a real blessing in my life. Ever since I haven't been working, YouTube has really picked me up. Ever since I've been going through everything that I've been going through in my personal life, YouTube has really given me something to get up every day and do and strive for. So I, I consider it to be a, a huge blessing to be able to get up and do YouTube every day. In one year, I could see myself definitely having a lot more of a following in what I believe in as far as being positively healthy. Here on YouTube, I would really like to promote different brands that follow along the lines of what I'm trying to do as far as being healthy and having something positive in your life, whether it be something you can hold in your hand or whether it be something you can take with you in your heart. I want to be able to um, broadcast that more and show people something they haven't seen or known of before. And professionally, in my own personal life outside of YouTube, I definitely am have an entrepreneurial spirit and I don't really want to work for anybody. I like working for myself. So if I can use my YouTube to build a platform to get me somewhere else, such as owning a brand or writing a book or even just life coaching or helping other people out, that would be such a blessing. And who knows, that could all happen in the next year. I'm, I wouldn't doubt it, but it's definitely on my vision board. Thank the next question is from 
pretty and purple. Hey, perp. <laughs> um, okay, I kind of gave an update on my sickle cell situation a little bit earlier in the video. And I also have a video dedicated strictly to how my sickle cell is doing. And I'll put the link to that right up here. So if you want to know more in detail about how my sickle cell is doing and my doctors and my medication update, that's all in that video. Um, but just for a short, right now I'm being retested to find out what type of sickle cell I have. And my medications, I think, need to be adjusted because every morning I'm waking up with migraine headaches. So this today is the one, the first day I've skipped my medicine so that I can see if that's what was giving me the headaches or not. And I have a new doctor. And all the deets of that are in that video. The next question is, did you ever state why you are no longer with your husband? Yeah, next question. Thank you, Pearl, for those Pearl. questions. The next question is from, who that sugar? Who is that sugar? And family. <laughs> this is from the Who That Sugar family. My girl Alicia. Hey, boo. Hey, Alicia, girl. Thank you for asking me some questions. Do you love me, girl? Yes, boo. I love you. I love you. Hearts, 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 hearts. My editing app, number one, I have been using PowerLink Cyber Director 11. And I recently upgraded at the end of last year to PowerLink Cyber Director 14. It's the easiest editing application for me to use. That's only when I do sit down videos. Not like sit down like casual like this. I mean sit down videos like my YouTube black video. And I'll put the link to that video right here. So you can see the me just using my DTLR camera with only strictly CyberLink Power Director editing that video. Now I use my iPad to vlog and do videos like this. Thanks to Rashad Petty Videos, who I did my collab with, he informed me that I could connect my iPad to my laptop and use my laptop to edit because these vlogs up into about I would say six or seven vlogs ago I had been using iMovie on the iPad to edit but now I use a combination of iMovie first edit the video completely in iMovie upload it to my computer and then re-edit the video again in CyberLink Power Director and they're both very easy to use and they're very, very user friendly. And if anybody ever was to invest in PowerLink Cyber Director, your girl is right here to ask any and every question you need about your editing preferences. Thank you, Who That Sugar and Family. Next set of questions comes from S underscore Hutchison. Hey, boo. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so excited, child. But. <laughs> I just love the fact that y'all support me and y'all are asking me these questions. The next set of questions comes from S. Hutchison. No, I do not regret being open about my illness. Had I not been open about my illness, it would leave a big chunk of my life with a question mark on it. You guys will wonder, where do I disappear to? Why am I not feeling well today? Why am I always talking about how tired I am? You know, it, it just wouldn't... Things wouldn't add up. Doctor's appointments, all these doctor visits, shy. Y'all might think I had some disease that um was terminal or something. So I really don't regret opening up about my disease. And it even motivates me to talk about it more because more people come on this channel who don't understand sickle cell and they want me to explain it to them and tell them what it's about. And who knows, your best friend, your next door neighbor can have this disease too. And you would never know because some people don't open up about it. So that was a really good question. Um, me and my husband in the past have planned on us having more children by the time I turn 33, which is couple, couple, couple years from now. I had a lot of health issues after having my first child. The pregnancy was amazing. It was beautiful. It was just after I went through a lot of stress dealing with that pregnancy. So it wasn't the first thing that popped into my mind, but after I got married, we were like, okay, if we have any more kids, then we're definitely going to have one before I turn 33 and we'll make it as peaceful and set it up so I can have baby in the summertime, won't be winter, and just do everything properly and be under a doctor's supervision the entire time. Not that I wasn't with my son, but maybe even my 
OBGYN and my sickle cell doctor um, together. So it would just be an ideal situation if we were to, we were able to get everything, you know, piece back together and, you know, we still may do that. But at the same time, we have three children together and we kind of were on the fence still, like, should we have another child? Being that our oldest child is 16 and our youngest child is six, you know, it would be a really big age gap in between our oldest child and our youngest child, but, you know, it's a thought that has not been set in stone yet so we may or we may not depending on what god sees for us in our future okay <laughs> a lot of my a lot of my new subscribers never saw any of my old videos and i used to always edit like this anyway what happened was after i got my ipad i got really lazy and just started editing stuff on imovie overnight and just throwing it up because a vlog did not require all the time me to go in and put pictures here and words and extra stuff like that so i thank you for the compliment i don't feel like i've done anything different than what i did in the past so it's not that i've gotten so good i just always did the type of stuff anyway but i still think i'm not trying to be conceited i Thank you for the compliment, um, but I know a lot of my newbie neighbors think that I'm just starting to edit like this, and I'm not. I've always edited up like this. I just got lazy for a few months, and I already answered the question previously about what editing software I use. Um, me and my husband just went, we just recently went to a um, the portrait of marriage ma marriage session at church, and so far so good we're not rushing into anything we're taking baby steps but marriage is sacred and i'm trying to we're both trying to <clears throat> become better people for each other and recognize our mistakes and recognize where we went wrong and try to better each other individually so we can be better together because one thing we didn't do prior to getting married was go to marriage counseling or anything like that so we just knew we fell in love we wanted to be together forever and we didn't want to be with anybody else so so we just jumped at the chance to be with each other um and we did it under the vows of god and we now look back and realize god should have God brought us together God should have been over this marriage the entire time and we did not acknowledge that so now we're kind of working backwards but I do have faith in our marriage working out family vloggers I like to watch product junkie XOXO the daily Davison I used to watch the Levine life but I don't want to say this and sound negative but they kind of got boring to me so yeah, um, Olivia has two moms. Sometimes I might catch a video of theirs. Hanging with the Jameses. What that sugar? I watch her family vlogs. I don't really watch family vlogs like that. Like I really don't. I just, I guess I should more. I usually watch people who just by themselves vlog. I don't know, like me. I guess similar to me. I don't know. Thank you, S. Hutchinson. Those were some great questions. Thank you, girl. The next set of questions come from Nisha's Life. Hey, sis. Thank you for asking me some questions. Yes, I would. If he needs an outlet, you know, something positive, I definitely would. I I'm not going to stop him back. Who knows? Somebody might see him from Disney Channel and want to have my baby on TV. The age he is now? Oh, no. Other than my neighbors here on YouTube, no, my neighbors don't know that I've used to I think maybe one neighbor knows but didn't take me serious so I just didn't talk about it no more and my family does know that I vlog and all my friends know that I vlog people from high school no 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 they don't they don't know that I vlog <laughs> none of them know that I have a have a channel I don't believe but everybody else knows I have a channel I let everybody know I have a channel because I want them to like you know support me and everything like that in any way they can and I haven't posted like my YouTube content on my high school college facebook because i just i don't know they were high school friends you know we're not friends now so i feel like when you see somebody from high school you be kind of want to know how they doing like oh she doing this now she doing that now oh she doing youtube i feel like people can get a little judgy without even really knowing they're being judgy so i don't really need those comments like girl you don't care for high school like i don't really want to hear all that really so, or why are you doing it? I don't want to be questioned about it. I know my family and friends and my circle will support me, but people from like high school, college, I don't want to give them anything to talk about or get together with somebody else and be like, girl, did you see Paris have a YouTube channel? Yeah, girl, she call herself Frenchie J. 
uh, really what is she be talking about like I don't need that type of stuff that type of energy cause you know people from Costco don't have to get in contact with you they really want to but thank you for the questions Nisha those were great questions it has the only, I, I feel like only God can really let me know the answers of that and right now I'm very the next positive. question is for from Tierra's turn hey Tierra hey boo if we have a little girl we gonna name her Milan Cause you know my name is a place and her name gotta be a place too and if we have a little boy his name gonna be my husband want the boy name to be after him Corey Jr. like what CJ but I don't know about that put God first go to marriage counseling first Seek a pastor and a church. Worship together. Don't worship two separate places. Bring each other close under the Lord, under God first. First. Make sure you have the same ideas and goals in mind before you get married. Then when you're in the marriage, things will run a lot more smoother. If you worship together and you communicate really good, very effectively, and you guys do not go to bed without discussing what the problem is that you were upset with each other about prior to being mad. People say, don't go to bed mad. No. If you're going to go to bed mad, talk about it first. Because if you don't go to bed mad, it's going under the rug, you're going to talk about it the next day. No, don't carry that into the next day. Talk about it that night. Come to a resolve. Kiss and make up. Hold on to, hold on to Jesus. Let him hold on to you guys' marriage. And y'all just stay close. And I promise you, I feel like that's that's the start of a successful marriage. Um, I know finance and all that stuff comes up under the other umbrellas. But God, put God first in your marriage. That's all I can, that's the best advice I can ever give anybody who's married. And... Don't give up unless it's something you just cannot handle or would never deal with or would not expose your children to. Then let it go. But when I'm talking about letting it go, we're talking about keeping it together. If I could live anywhere else in the United States, it would have to be um, Virginia. I love Virginia for some reason. I visited Virginia um, for every summer for like four years. And Virginia was just one of those places that I felt like it was home, like here in North Carolina. Um, specifically, either Newport News, Bad News, Virginia, or either um, Virginia Beach. I want to be by a body of water, specifically. Um, LA seems like a nice place, um, California, but I know in about 50 years, the San Andreas quake is a possibility that it could really happen, because I did some research on it after watching the movie San, San Andreas, and it's a real possibility. The San Andreas quake is a very, very real real thing and it's a real possibility that California could just be cut, sliced, dashed, pushed, earthquaked, typhooned, tsunamied right off the grid of the United States of America. We're going to be 49 states you guys. So I, I would visit LA, California, but I would not live there, no. Because if I get comfortable and don't want to move, it's, you know, I'm not prepared to move in 50 years. I'm gonna be going anyway with the um with the tsunami. Thank you, Tierra. Love the questions. The next question is from Keisha James. Hey Keisha. Um, I already answered the question as far as where I see myself in the future, as far as working, but best believe whatever I do, your girl gonna own it. Thank you, Keisha. Next question is from the house full of J's. Oh, I got to check them out. I forgot to check them out. I said I was going to check them out. I'm going to check y'all out when I finish this video. I was inspired to talk about my sickle cell, first and foremost, casually. Sit down videos. What made me want to vlog is to have more content on my channel and for people to get to know me in my life living with sickle cell. I watched other people who vlog channels and become more inspired to show you guys what I do, what I like what goes on in my little life so that's how I was inspired that's what kind of gave me that push to go ahead and do it the hate comments I'm such a positive person let me tell you this is me being positive this is the hate comment 
it just doesn't penetrate through me it doesn't bother me at all i just it can get to me sometimes i will say if i'm going through that time of the month or what have you but other than that you can't let it bother you you have to delete it or erase it like somebody told me they hope I die or something the other day or killed myself or something and I was like why would you say something so sad and ignorant like why would you say that but you you don't exist to me you're over there okay and I just don't even know you are here you know I, I wouldn't have known if you was here if you hadn't come in it so it's like you can't you can't um I didn't even want to delete them because I want people to see the ignorance, you know what I mean? That's why I don't delete a lot of the negative things. On the My Two Cents with Project Junkie XOXO video, which I'll leave here. Um, there's so many hate comments on that particular video. You can just go look through the comment section and get mad. I lift them up because I want people to see the ignorance in other people. Um, the only two hate comments I deleted were death threats and go screw yourself or something like that because it wasn't appropriate for someone under a certain age to see so i did block those those persons but if you want to see you know how i deal with it go to that video i put hearts and i show love anyway because everyone's has their own opinion um whether it's good or bad and i feel like it needs to be seen um their opinion even if their opinion is very stupid with people who look at me and crazy in person i look at them crazy right back just I have no problem looking at people like they don't have no damn sense. That's my favorite. My sister always tell me my looks say it all. I wear everything I'm feeling right on my face and I just don't. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you for the questions, House Full of Jays, and I will be checking you guys out right after I finish doing this video. New Mommy Life, thank you for asking me a question, New Mommy Life. Okay, so your question is, oh, deep question. I would have a second chance at going back and finishing just college at Winston Salem State. I would just have finished it there. Um, a lot of stuff was going on in my life where I did not get to finish school there, but I was determined to finish it here. And I went to two different colleges here, all because I didn't stay there. So in retrospect, I wish that I would have stayed in Winston. It would have avoided a lot of situations that I'm going through currently, you know, even still now, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so if I could have a second chance at finishing college in Winston, um, I would definitely do that. Um, and that's Winston Phantom State University and Winston Phantom State, North Carolina. Um, a lot of people who I know who finished college there, like everybody who I personally know who's finished college there does not work in their field. So I don't regret anything and I don't feel bad about not finishing because all that money is gone and they're working at a restaurant or something like not downing anyone because it happens to the best of us yet and still I would have finished to say here's my degree here's my you know bachelor's or whatever you know I would have liked to have said that but I feel just as accomplished then as I do now and it's never too late to go back I just seen somebody on YouTube 67 and 68 year old graduated from college this this past graduation season so it's never too late <sighs> okay <laughs> so welcome to the end of the video okay guys that was all for my Q&A I hope I answered all you guys questions if I didn't please leave Leave more questions down below in this comment section and I will be sure to answer all your questions in the next Q&A. I love you all and thank you extra, extra, extra much for all of you all who did ask questions. And I will see you in my next video. Love you guys. Comment, like, and share this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.